Well, good morning, fellow Spark and Mavic fans. Today is a good day. Today is DJI Go 4 update day. Today, they have released version 4.1.10, and I'll put a list of different features. I'll scroll through them real quick. Improved shooting experience and flight safety with more awesome features. Gotta love those marketing guys. Added editor options to adjust aspects such as color temperature, sharpness, and highlights. Ah, who cares about the editor? Nobody uses those, do they? I don't know. Maybe you do. If you do, I'd, I'd like to hear about it. How, how well does that work? For the Mavic, they added quick shot mode. Well, they don't say what quick shot. For the Spark, there's multiple quick shots, right? There's uh, there's Active Tracks, there's uh, Droney, there's Helix, there's Circle. What quick shots did they add? I don't know. This is a feature that they added to the Spark, and this is one that uh, initially generated a whole bunch of questions, I think, for myself and probably a whole lot of other people. So, added dynamic home point updating, which periodically sets the current the aircraft's current position as the home point. Now, my first thought on that was, well, why would you want the aircraft's current home point or current location as the home point. Well, what I found out is that this is specific to gesture mode and active track. So the, that kind of makes sense, right? So if you're controlling it with gesture mode, then once every so often uh, it will actually mark its current location as the home point so that if it takes, uh, I don't know. Anyways, so uh, and then active track. So if you're you know, riding your bike and you have it following you along or something like that, it will uh, periodically be marking, kind of like breadcrumb, right? So instead of going back, you know, where you were 10 minutes ago, it'll just go back where you were 15 seconds ago, 30 seconds ago, or whatever. They don't really document what the time frame is, how often will it do that, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm interested to see how that works. Now, the interesting thing is, is that uh, they add this as a feature of DJI Go 4.1.10, but it's not going to be available until the firmware is updated. So I think you can probably expect another firmware update probably this week. I wouldn't be surprised if you don't see that tomorrow. So today is Monday, September 18th, I believe. I would be surprised if we don't see the firmware probably tomorrow or the next day. So would be interesting. Now they made two more updates to the Spark that I think a lot of you guys are going to be interested in. Now the first one is they say that they've optimized the image transmission quality. Now what does that mean? I don't know, but hopefully, hopefully it means that a lot of us that who who you know when your sparks out, you start getting cutouts and that kind of stuff. Hopefully there's less of that, so that would be awesome. Image transmission quality back at you is always a good thing, so. Uh, I think a lot of us are looking forward to being able to test that. I've, I've done a flight, uh, but it's just a short flight. This is one of those things that you're not going to be able to test in one flight to say, oh, yep, it's perfect. Oh, nope, it's terrible. I think this is going to be kind of an ongoing test. So I'm curious to see, you know, as you guys start flying and, and using this, do you guys see any updates uh, with this? Now, again, I wouldn't be surprised if this is not going to be uh, updated with the firmware update so just installing the app today i'm guessing it's probably not going to make a huge difference because it's really not the app that's doing the streaming of the of the image transmission right it's the spark setting it back so i imagine you're not going to see any updates to this in terms of the actual quality until the firmware update comes out so stay here uh you guys who are watching this after the firmware update has come out uh, after 18th of september uh, leave me some comments below and let me know are, are you guys seeing some up some uh, good updates with that I hope so now the other one is that they've you can now switch between and lock a transmission frequency and channel manually so I know this is one that a lot of you guys are looking forward to so I hope that this fixes some of the issues especially you guys uh, you know outside of the US are seeing some of these uh, uh, Wi-Fi issues hopefully this kind of improves it I don't think that it's gonna be the the uh, you know, 100% solution that's going to make everybody happy, but hopefully it helps helps out some of you guys. So the last one they mention that I think is probably the least interesting of all of these is that uh, quick shots can now be recorded without an SD card. I don't know why you wouldn't have an SD card, but maybe uh, you forgot it in your computer when you when you uh, last downloaded it, loaded it. You're out for a run and you see a really cool you know something and and you really want to get that uh that that quick uh, video so i can see where it would be useful i think most of the time most people are going to have an sd card in their in their spark but for those times when you kind of get stuck and you forgot your card 
uh, I think this would be useful as well. I'm curious to hear, uh, you know, are there other scenarios that I'm not thinking of there? And then they say that they've streamlined the login and registration process so as a general item and added access to the unmanned aerial system training center. I haven't had a chance to look into to see what that is, so hopefully that's something cool and a useful resource for us but uh, we'll see. So as of today, it's good to see these updates, but I think that we're probably not going to be able to take full effect until the firmware is updated, and I don't know, I don't have any inside info, but assuming that they uh, uh, have released this today, I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, the firmware update tomorrow. So watch the space. Uh, I'll try and get another video out as quick as I can after that comes out uh, to give you guys an update. and. Uh, Hope you guys have a great day. Hope uh, you're excited about these new features of the DJI GO software. Hopefully it helps improve the, the whole user experience of the Spark. Helps improve, uh, especially guys over uh, outside of the U.S. that, that are, uh, you know, kind of held by, back by the CE rules. Hopefully those Wi-Fi things. It's not going to fix the problems, right? But hopefully it uh, improves the experience a little bit. And then the image transmission quality, hopefully that one uh, really helps out as well. So, all right. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about all this stuff. Uh, are you disappointed with what they came out with? Are you excited about what they've come out with? Are you optimistic? Are they moving in the right direction? Let's hear all your comments down below. If you guys like these videos, what we're doing here, uh, I'd love to see you subscribe to my channel. Love to hear, uh, you know, good feedback, bad feedback down below. Give us some, some thumbs up. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you on another video soon. All right, take care.